Hi all. In today's video, we are going to see how we can do a sales through the point of sale module. Okay, so for uh, for that, uh, click on this point of sale module. So in the first screen, you can see what are the available sessions or what are the uh, according to your configuration, how many uh, no POS sessions you have created in the system. Those you can see in the dashboard. So now I am opening uh, one session here. So click on new session. So the uh, products and the UI will be loaded. Okay. So it's uh, loaded. In this area, you can see all the products which is available in uh, point of sale. And this is the area when, when you are adding the product, it will appear here. And this is a customer and number pad area. Okay. Now we are in the home. If you are clicking on on a particular category, then accordingly the items will be arranged. If you are going back to the home, we can see all the items in this area. And if you want to search an item, you can uh, search uh, those items by uh, typing in here, or else you can uh, do a barcode scanning. So the items will be added to the left uh, left side automatically. Now I am adding one item here, and uh, this is the area where you can change the number of quantity for that particular item. So by clicking on this quantity and changing the quantity, you can see the item uh, quantity has been changed and the price also changed. Now, if you want to give any discount for a particular item, so click on discount, you can give a discount here. Now, if you want to change the price of an item, so click on price and you can change the unit price for this particular item. So according to your tax configuration, the tax will appear here. Okay. And if you want to delete uh, the price, then, then make sure the uh, selection is on price and uh, just click on this delete button. So the price will be deleted and you can give a new price here. And uh, this is the area uh, where you can uh, configure your uh, customer. If you want to create a new customer, then you can click on this create button and you can create a new customer. So let's say you can uh, select a existing customer from uh, from the system. You click on this set customer, so the customer will be added. And uh, if you want to you know if we do have three or four products, and if you want to give a global discount, then that also possible by this option. This is according to your configurations uh, in the point of sale. So click on discount. Now you can give a global discount for all these products. That also possible. Okay. Now you are going to make the payments. Click on payment button. According to your configurations, like what are the available payment methods in your system, those payment methods you can see here. You can choose what are the payment method you are going to do so that you can choose here and enter the amount which is uh, uh, you are getting or uh, receiving from the customer that you can choose here. You can see the changes as well. Click on validate. Now we can see one receipt. And you can take a print for, uh, from the same, and you can go back, to, uh, go to the, go back to the screen. Click on next order. So again, you will be in the same screen. Now, at the, at the end of the day, you have to close your uh, point of sale session. Okay. Then only the entries will be posted into the accounts as well as, as well as in the inventory. Okay. So click on that uh, close button. Here you can see one more close button. Click on the close. We can see how many orders you have, you do have, and uh, what are the pickings, and uh, what are the payment, and those general items. Once you posted the item, you can see the general items as well, and uh, all other informations you can see here. What time you opened and uh, uh, opened by whom. So those informations also you can see here, and you can click on this close and post entries. So you can see the entries has been posted. If you're going to the general items you can see all the post general items as well and if you want to take the print from the system so click on this reporting and from orders or from the sale details you can uh, take the prints as well so this is the basic flow of a uh, point of sale system in auto thank you